Hello everyone. Have you got the resources that you're going to need today? A piece of lined paper and a pencil. If you don't, don't worry. Just click pause and then click play when you do. Shall we start by singing an alphabet song? It's so good to revisit our letter names. Why don't we sing it to the tune of Old Lang Syne today? Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Four letters have been circled. Can you tell me their letter names? A, J, O and Y. We're going to read our common exception words now. We're going to become experts at these. Did you manage to keep up? Let's recall our sounds. I'll show you a grapheme and you can tell me the phoneme, the sound that that grapheme makes. It's time for us to master a digraph today. Let's find out which digraph we're going to master. It's uh. Uh. Can you think of any words with the phoneme uh in them? Pause the video and click play once you've thought of some. Can you tell me which words you thought of? I thought of colours with er uh in. I thought of the colour purple and the colour turquoise. We're going to form these letters now. I wonder, do you know which letter families they both belong to? The U is a ladder letter and the R is a one-armed robot letter. Let's practice the U. Put your finger in the air on the green dot. We're going to go down, up, down and flick. And now the R. Start at the top again. Down, up and over. Why don't we practice writing it on our paper? Put your pencil tip in between two lines. We're going to form the ladder letter U first. Down, up, down and flick. And now the R, the one-armed robot letter, starts at the top. Down, up and over. 
Is your you and R sitting on the line? And are they both the same height? Continue practising this and pause the video. Then click play once you've written more. It's time for us to read some er uh words together. Before we read them, can you just get your magnifying glass out and find the er uh in each word? What do you notice about the position of it? Is it at the beginning, middle or end of each word? Let's sound and blend the first word together. K -er -l curl. The word is curl. Let's sound and blend the next word. Wow, it's got three digraphs. Ch, er, ch, church. The last word is a polysyllabic word, so I've put it into chunks to help us. L, erk, lurk, ing, ing, lurk, ing, lurking. The word is lurking. That's when something might be hiding in the grass, like a tiger. Can you see? In the first picture, there is a surfer on a surfboard. We're going to write the word surfer. Let's stretch it out. S-er-f-er, -er, surfer. And put it on our phoning fingers. S-er-f-er, -er, surfer. How many phonemes are in that word? Can you write it down? I'll give you a clue. The er uh at the end of this word is a different spelling of the phoneme er. Uh. Surfer. Surfer. Do you know what that is in the next picture? It's a butter churn. It's used to churn butter. It makes cream into butter. Let's stretch out churn. Ch -er -n, churn. And can you put it on your phoning fingers with me? Ch -er -n, churn. Write it down. Remember to add those sound buttons. I'd like to see that you've spotted the digraphs. Do you know what vegetable that is at the bottom? In the soil? They're turnips. Let's stretch out the word turnip. T -er -n -ip, turnip. And put it on our phoning fingers. T -er -n -ip, turnip. Wow, how many phonemes are in that word? Can you write it down? T, er, n, ip, turnip. You might challenge yourself to write the plural of turnip. If there is more than one turnip, we would write turnips, turnips. We're going to check the spellings now. Tick or fix your spellings. It's really useful to notice any marvellous mistakes we've made and correct them. That way we'll remember for next time. We're going to apply our learning to read a sentence. But before we do, can you count how many words there are? And can you read the common exception words? And with your finger, underline any digraphs you can see. Have you spotted the trigraph too? Pause the video and read this sentence three times, then click play.
Well done for reading the sentence three times. Let's read it together now. If you do not turn the food, it might burn. Oh dear, can you see? That food might not have been turned. Well done for mastering er with me today. I look forward to mastering another phase three sound with you next time.